Welcome back to the channel guys. Today is January 25th and I'm going to do what I have been wanting to do for a while but the weather hasn't suited. Uh, right now it's not cold enough and the ground's not hard enough to haul liquid manure and finish up. Hopefully we can finish this week. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday look promising. So, But it's I think it might be just right to clean up some uh, build, shaving build up around the other cow barn. I've been wanting to do that here. I got the one cow barn done, but I just gotta do this one. All the skid loaders are being used right now, so I'm gonna take a shovel down, do some detailed work, and then when that skid loader is available that my cousin's using, I'm going to do the majority of it. So that bin right there is going to be in the way, but I'm glad I came back here because there's pieces of wood here. I do not really remember these pieces of wood, but yes, as you, as you can tell, this is pretty bad. And hopefully this isn't too hard to dig into with the skid loader, but I'll, I'm going to clean up these wood pieces. Alright, so after going through, I think I got everything. Uh, yeah, so these blocks are all pretty much rotten, so I think I'm just going to throw them away. I know I might just keep a block back here because we like to have a stopper for our manure, our fill pipe. So every time the pump starts, it likes to shift, so we just put it behind the wheel <clears throat> so that does not happen. I'll find the... Yeah these blocks aren't anything worth talking about they're all rotting and fall apart easy so yeah i was gonna say to find the best one but they're all trashed so this skid is available here for a little bit i'm gonna go back there and test to see if i can actually clean up shavings i'm just afraid that things are frozen together it would be really tough but no, it looks like we have a scoop of crap in there yet. All right. So I tested and we are good to rock and roll and I now know why I didn't clean up around here. It wasn't because I'm lazy. We used to park milk trucks back here, not ours. The person that hauls our milk, they parked our milk, their, they parked their milk trucks here. And I, at the time I couldn't get to it, so. So pretty much I'm just going to do the best I can here, as you can tell, that there is staying, that's like frozen, I might try a different angle and see if I can chip away at it, but the rest of this stuff right there, that's all, that's coming apart easily. The main concern is, I want to get the stuff off the pits, or the pit lid, because uh, that can be a hazard when you're trying to open them, uh, if someone would fall in, that wouldn't be good, that's, I mean, yeah. I'm sure you've probably heard of stories of people dying in manure pits. It's a thing. It happens. Or lagoons. Yeah. Manure is not something to goof around with. So this stuff's like stone, so something tells me I'm just gonna let this stuff go. I got most of it though, I'm getting most of it as you can tell. It's quite the build up. But I think when things thaw out, the spring or whatever, I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna clean up around the pit lids. Cause I tried right here, but you know, stone. There's also this scoop right here, there was like five mice that just ran out. So. This is also a home to mice. So whoops, I'm destroying their home. I doubt many of you are upset about that, but yep. Lovely mice. They don't know where to go. 
That's just gross. Get back here. I'm just trying to pet you with the shovel. Parked the spreader because well, I didn't unload it because uh probably next or this week still I'm gonna finish up that cow barn. It's time for lunch. I gotta eat and get some hutches ready for some calves. My big brain, I forgot to record bedding off, but yeah, you guys get the point. I'll show you guys the straw part though, because that's the that's the fun part. Alright, this should be easy. I already have a bale that's apart down there. And there's only like less than 10 hutches. There's like yeah, 10-ish hutches left. So we're gonna have to move here probably this week. So, that's nice. If you guys are wondering, we probably move once a week. Unless we move 30 calves, then we would, we could probably go for a whole week without moving. But then we would have to move the following week, for sure. How many calves? Uh-oh. Looks like there might be something to bring out. But I could be wrong. Okay, one. One for sure, possibly this one. I remember 40 from yesterday, so I know she's ready to go. I just don't know if this is a new one, so. Or 41. But we're about to find out. Gotta check the list. Ooh, one calf. Uno, I like that number. You might be wondering, Ashlyn, don't you want more calves? Yes, it's always good to have more calves. But, you know, hey, we, during the summer and fall, it's like things pick up, we're busy, and we're pumping out calves. It's nice to just have a slow time. Um, see, what also slow is the calves here recently. They've been lazy. See if she gets up. Come on, girl, get up. I'm going to be carrying dead weight, so have fun watching me try to lift this. She's pretty much acting like a mound of flesh, so. This is what I'm talking about. Ridiculously lazy. But then you'll see in a couple days, I'll show you up there. The calves are fine and energetic. Um, I don't think I have to worry about telling her to keep her head and hooves inside the calf carrier because uh, something tells me she's just going to lay it in the whole time. One lazy calf transported to the Rodarian. And as you guys can tell, the rest of the calves are alive, awake, alert, and enthusiastic. Mostly because they're hungry, which speaking, that brings us to feeding time here. So, yeah. The ladies are hungry. it's almost time to retire the feed bucket I mean would you agree I mean I don't know I think it still has some life when you guys say one thing I don't know if I shared when we moved the heifers back from the or from the weaning barn to this transition barn here uh, for our first uh, couple weeks or so we'll give them a bucket of feed each feeding um, just to kind of help them yeah, weed them off of the just feeding water to a TMR and water, unlimited water. You 
think you're better than everyone else, don't you? Alright guys, I think this is going to be the end of the video. I appreciate you guys watching. And they appreciate it too. Ladies. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. God bless. And watch return signals.